Let's suppose you have a balloon and you rub it on your hair. You rub electrons off your hair onto the balloon and you build up a static charge on that part of the balloon. So I'll draw these little electrons on here. That represents the static charge. A bunch of little negative signs because the electrons are negative. Now we've said that that negative spot on the balloon will attract your hair as you would expect because the hair is positively charged and negative and positive attract. But you can also put that balloon up to the ceiling or to the wall and it will stick. It will stick to a neutral object and you wouldn't expect that to be the case because a positive charge or a negative charge would have no attraction or repulsion to a neutral object. A proton and a neutron don't attract or repel and an, an electron and a neutron don't attract or repel, repel. So a charged object we wouldn't necessarily expect it to have any attraction to a neutral object. Let me draw the ceiling up here. Here's the ceiling and in the ceiling there are protons and electrons. So I'll draw some protons here and I'll draw some electrons. Now obviously there are a lot more but we'll have a representative sample. Now what forces do these charged particles exert on the negative balloon? Well the positive charges would attract the negative but the negative charges would repel the negative and those forces would be equal and opposite so we would not expect the balloon to be attracted to the ceiling but here's what happens remember we said that the protons are stuck they're fixed in the nucleus they don't move around they're they're fastened or they're they're built into the nucleus of the atom the electrons especially the ones on the outer edge are much more easily moved so when this big negative charge comes close to the ceiling these electrons get pushed away. They are repelled by the negative balloon and that leaves a positive region on the ceiling. That region of the ceiling is said to be charged by induction. Charged by induction. Because this region of the ceiling is now positive it attracts the negative balloon and they stick and it will stick there and if it's a nice dry day it can stick there for several hours. So that's charging by induction. When Thales did his experiment with amber the same thing was taking place. There are little particles down here maybe little pieces of dust or leaf or something like that and when he took the piece of amber that was negatively charged due to the rubbing what that did that repelled some of the electrons in these little tiny pieces of pieces of leaves. And so those electrons, because the leaf is sitting on the ground, those electrons go from the leaf into the ground. So those electrons go away, leaving the little piece of leaf positively charged. So the little pieces of leaf or dust or whatever it was got charged by induction and they're now positively charged and so they are attracted and they stick to the negative piece of amber. So Thales uh, didn't necessarily understand it at the time but his early experiment in static electricity also demonstrated charging by induction.